if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In the previous part, we talked about etiology, that is causes. Now we will talk about the mode of transmission, that is epidemiology. We have discussed this term earlier. That is the mode of transmission. Of a particular disease. Now, this mode of transmission is possible in communicable diseases. Now, how communicable diseases, they get uh, transmitted. So, here there are two possible uh, methods or ways. One is called direct transmission and the other is indirect. Now, what is the basic difference? Direct is from infected person to healthy directly. And indirect means the transmission of disease is through some agent or carrier. It is not necessary that the agent has to be living. It can be anything, any substance, anything which is going to carry that pathogen, the disease causing agent from the infected person to the healthy person. But here it is through direct uh, contact or through direct transmission. We don't depend on the agents. Now, when we are talking about direct, one uh, important example of those diseases which are directly transmitted are STDs, that is sexually transmitted disease. So, if one uh, person is infected and has any of those, uh, let us write down some examples here. HIV is one caused by HIV, that is AIDS. Hepatitis B, gonorrhea, syphilis, etc. These are STDs. So, say uh, one person has this disease and through sexual contact, it will be passed on to the other person who is healthy. So, it is direct from the infected to the healthy person. The second is droplet infection. Now what is meant by droplet infection and which disease can be transmitted by this method? We can take the example of TB. If a person has tuberculosis, we know the most common symptom is that the person keeps coughing. If you keep coughing, then there are droplets which come out of your nose or mouth. This happens when you cough or sneeze. And suppose there's a person who is sitting in front of you and those droplets get into other person's body because the person is inhaling and those droplets get inhaled. Then from the infected person, the infection has gone to the healthy person. So it is like a direct uh, transmission. So, droplet infection is also very, very common. STDs are also very common. Then, there is one more which is like if you touch the person. So, those diseases are again direct contact but they are called like contagious. Contagious is like by touching. If you have heard of leprosy, Leprosy is a disease which spreads by touching. So if there is a person who has this disease, 
Such people who have leprosy, they're called lepers. So if you touch, then just by that touch, the infection goes into the healthy person's body. And that is why uh, you would find that uh, there are very few treatment centers for these lepers because nobody wants to touch them because the risk is very, very high that even if you have gloves and everything on, still, if by chance there is some skin contact, then while treatment, then the chances are that the healthy person can get also get infected. And that is why these lepers, they are sort of, you know, kept outside the normal town or city. So they have a separate uh, outside habitation where there's a tiny uh, sort of colony where these only the lepers live and they are not allowed to enter into the cities. Nobody offers them any job and their life becomes miserable because one, nobody treats them or very few people treat them. And secondly, there is no livelihood for them. They cannot earn because they cannot work. People don't let them work because if you let them work, they're going to touch few things. And from there, the infection is going to spread. So this is like a direct thing. What is going to be indirect from the person to the infected person to healthy, but there has to be a carrier. So one such is vector bone. Vector bone diseases. Vectors are, are organisms who take the particular pathogen from the infected and bring it to the body of the normal. And you know some examples like malaria. The vector is female anopheles. Mosquito. Dengue or some people call it dengue also. It spreads through another type of mosquito which is called Aedes. This is like uh, transmitted with the help of a vector. We can take one more example that is cholera, that is by housefly. Then one it is vector bone, then there is some non-living things. There can be some ca carriers like water and food. It is called carrier bone diseases which spread through contaminated food and water. Cholera again, typhoid, these are very common here also. Diarrhea, dysentery, these are very common diseases which spread through contaminated food and water. Third is called formic bone disease. This is by using some articles which are used by the infected person. Uh, the articles can be the utensils which the infected person is using, clothes, handkerchief, anything which the infected person is using. So it is through used articles like utensils and all. So even uh, if a person has jaundice, you normally uh, keep everything separate. The utensils which are given to this person, infected person or diseased person are different. The other people who are healthy, they isolate this person who is suffering from jaundice and do not use the same articles. The clothes are also washed separately. The utensils are also washed separately. So this is just to isolate that person so that the disease or the infection doesn't spread from that diseased or infected person to the healthy person. Because all the diseases which we are talking about here are communicable diseases. Okay. So epidemiology is the mode of transmission. How is that disease getting transmitted? Is it happening just by coming in contact with that infected person? Is it a sexually transmitted disease or is there some kind of an agency required for that disease to be transferred from 
the uh, from the diseased or infected person to the healthy person. So term is simple that epidemiology means mode of transmission. But when we talk about that term in detail, then we need to know all these things. So this was another important term and we have taken some uh, details of it. Now in the next part, we will take some more terms and talk about them in detail.